Hello everyone! It's been a long time since my last video, about three years. My name is Stephen Walker and this is Tell Me About It, 40 Questions. And today I've got a guest with me and I'll let him tell you about himself, but his name is Nishant Rangra. So nice to meet you. Pleasure. And so let's begin with uh, where are you from? I'm from India. From uh, India. Yeah, yes. So which part of India? I'm from the northern part, uh, from the Himalayan mountains, a uh, state called uh, Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh. Yes. Can you tell me or tell us where is India? Like the continent and relation to one or two different countries. Okay, it is part of uh, Asian continent, mm -hmm. which a lot of people ignore that fact, but it's actually a subcontinent. It's a subcontinent of yes. the Asian continent. Yes, because it's actually a landmass that's moving northwards. Okay. That's why the Himalayan mountains is growing one inch to two every year. Okay, so India is separate and pushing, pushing up the first. mountains up. Yes, because India continent used to, subcontinent used to be part of Africa. If you look at this east, uh, uh -huh. the west part, it's right here. Okay. So we broke off millions of years ago. That's why there's a huge resemblance right here. Uh -huh. And it moved forward. So the southern part of India is the dark skin color, which is, resembles a lot of Africans. I see. Well. And so India is southwest of China and Nepal. Right. And so we're right, uh, this used to be before uh, the British took, uh, uh, divided the country, Pakistan, Afghanistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, all this used to be Indian continent. Okay. Which now is like broken up. So I see. We're still pretty big. Yeah, I don't know. yeah it's, it's, a, it's a large country mm -hmm. and so many different people, but yeah. what is the nationality what would you say is the nationality of people from India? Uh, it is, uh, everybody considers themselves Indian. Indian. Yeah, but uh, when they describe themselves, oh, where are you from? Are you from north? Are you from south? Are you east or west? Mm -hmm. But we usually can, excuse me, you can figure out by just looking at the color of the skin, usually all oh, these really off-white, so that means from the north, and the more darker is like, oh, he's from the south. Okay, okay. And the population, I know the population is one of the largest in the world. Yes, two, three weeks ago we beat China and became number one. You are number one. Yes, it's Congratulations. over one. Congratulations. I don't know if it's happening. <laughs> well, growing yeah. is better than... Uh, Yes, the demographics shows, but it's actually a declining growing part. We are over 1.4 billion people. 1.4 billion. Yes. And so the capital of India is what? Uh, New Delhi. New Delhi. Yes. And New Delhi is where? It's right here, right? Northwest. Yeah, it's like in the center, actually. Uh, it's like right in the middle, smack middle of east and west. Okay. But it's a little bit on the to north. To the north? Yes. And so what's the population of New Delhi? It's approximately 33 million. 33 uh, million. Yeah. So Seoul, I think, is... It's larger than Seoul. Yeah. It's South Korea. It's almost South Korea. South Korea is around 50 million. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, South Korea is about 55 million in the country. So yeah, 33, 33, that's, that's uh, a lot we're, of people. We're catching up, we're catching up. <laughs> <laughs> so now in unit two, we talk about shapes, sizes, and appearances. Okay. And the flag of India, uh, what color is it? Uh, it's a tricolor, uh, but actually has four. Four colors? Yes, and what but are it's they? always said tricolor. It's uh, orange, white, and green. Uh, but in the middle, the chakra is actually blue. So but it's orange, white, and green. Green and blue. Yeah. And then the next question is, what does the flag look like? Uh, so it's rectangular. Yes, it's a rectangular flag. Orange is the uh, orange is on the top. White in the middle. Middle is white. Green, green in the bottom. 
uh, center has a wheel, the chakra we call it. Uh, it's the, that represents uh, the making of uh, cotton. Okay. The wheel that made cotton, that's what it represents. Okay, I did not know that. And the colors, do so orange signifies uh, I sun? Believe, yes, uh, it, I think it, was, it, bl uh, it represents peace. Uh, orange does? It, yes, because orange colors are used by many as a piece uh, part. Okay, and you're wearing orange, so... Actually, it's pink. It's pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then white, do you know what white? Uh, I haven't looked into Purity, much of maybe, it. or cotton? Cotton, maybe, purity. Uh, but the whole, th India, you have to understand, is a unity uh -huh. of uh, the flag represents the unity of all the cultures. Yes. Because as we are the only country that has every religion settled in India. Okay, we'll we, talk about that. Yeah, we yeah. even have the ancient Farsis. Okay. Yeah. And so then the flag, though, green would be agriculture. Agriculture, land. or some say it also represents the Muslim community. Okay, Muslim. But uh, it actually, it represents represents everything from from top to bottom because Ver India is varieties heap among us. Yeah, colors can signify different things. Yeah. And then the blue and it's a shock chakra. Ch chakra. Yeah, chakra means the wheel. A wheel. Right? Okay, I did not know that. Yeah, it's the wheel of that Mahatma Gandhi used uh, to uh, uh, make a cotton when you, if you ever see his old photos. Yeah. Yes. India didn't get independence till 1947. 1947. Yes. So we're fairly new. And um, so the people, as you said before, north and south are different. So the so question eight and question nine, mm -hmm. uh, the majority of women and men, the appearance. Well, the color is easily distinguishable. That a person is from north or south, but uh, can the you can you just repeat or or tell us a bit more like uh, in the north yeah see the north has the more influential of that they said that the breeding of the northern conquerors the so what we call in our history is Aryans okay and not the German Aryans but uh, Aryans means the people that came and come and mixed with us European the Europeans uh, it said the Hungarians uh, this have their history that they are gypsies, Indian gypsies. Okay. So from Indian, they migrated there. So Romani. So also. hair color, eye color. It's black. It's prominently black. Prominent, it's even north and south. North and black, south. Black, black. Dark eyes. Dark eyes. It's very rare but, to but find. But the north, the skin is lighter. Lighter. Yeah. And then as we go south. The skin becomes darker, but the hair is black. It's, 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 it's prominent. It's very rare it's to find. Dominant. Yeah. It's the dominant gene. In our similar to Asia. Yes. Yeah. And uh, minorities. Mm -hmm. Now, 1.4 billion people. Yes. You have many. Right. Can you tell us maybe two or three of the largest minority groups? Okay. Well, then there, if you're looking at then the minority comes as the caste system. Okay, it's a caste system. Can yeah. you explain that a little bit? Yes, we have four different castes. Uh -huh. We have uh, Kshatriyas, uh, which are the kings and the warriors. Kshatriyas? Yes. Uh, and then we have Brahmins. Brahmin. Which is a priest. Okay. Uh, we have third one is Vaishyas, which are the business. Vaishyas. Vaishyas. Yes. So, which are the business community. Okay. And the last one is Shudras. Which Shudras. Are the, the untouchables. The untouchable. Mm. And so, they do the, the menial or the jobs, jobs the cleaning, yes. delivering. No, delivery is done by everybody now because uh, India is opening up. India did not open up its world trade uh, gates until 1998 and after that. We were, we were locked. We will use our own. So eventually, India is becoming a global trade phenomenon, but it's just recently because we just started it only 20 years ago. So the untouchables mostly cleaning. Yeah, and it is un uh, untouchables can do. We have it in government officials as well now because they have a minority quota. Okay. We have quota system in India, so everybody gets a certain quota and uh, minorities have their own quota that they can be so we had our pri uh, president of india uh draupadi murmur she's our president 
And she's one of the minorities. She's a minority. Which which caste system? Uh, she, I have no idea. I know she's oh, from okay. the SC class, which is the lowest caste. And so, marriage can can someone from the lower class marry someone from a higher class? Earlier, it would have been not not even frowned upon. It was just not happening. But not nowadays, happening. nobody cares because uh, it is so expensive to live in India. That, okay, so and it's kids are educated. So okay. yeah, the, the the traditions are changing. Yes, slowly, uh, sometimes quickly. Yes. Uh, well, it's going gradually. It is changing because uh, Westernization of India in the last twenty years has expanded f uh, phenomenally. Okay. So it is uh, expanding. All right. So we're moving into unit three, and unit three is food tastes and ingredients. Can you tell us uh, your favorite? A traditional food eaten in India, your favorite or something that you know this 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 represents Indian cuisine. Okay, um, now uh, Indian cuisine is divided into two forms: okay. vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Okay, because as I said, majority of Indians are Hindus, and Hindus are vegetarian people. No meat. No meat. No eggs. No meat. But it, nowadays, everybody eats almost everything. Okay. So, uh, if you look at mine, the vegetarian dish is a lentil, uh, a and lentil rice, bean, uh -huh. beans and rice. We call it uh, rajma and uh, chawal. Rajma and ch uh, chawal, which is rice. Chawal, chawal. So that's the that's the meal. Yes, it's a proper meal. So you mix with the rice. You uh, in the U.S. you call them the red beans. Kidney beans. Kidney beans. Okay. Yeah, but we have a different flavor. It's less gassy. But uh, tell us one more, like. I go to a restaurant and I want to order a good traditional Indian food. Uh, we have a thing called, uh, now people are going back reversing to Indian vegetarian uh, food. It's called a thali. One more time. Thali, T-H-A-L-I, thali. Thali. It's, yeah, thali means plate. Okay, Indian. and so the next question is what are the ingredients of thali? It's basically, it depends on how you buying a cheap version or the expensive version. It has different f type of vegetable dishes mm -hmm. and one sweet dish at the so end. So what kind of vegetables? Uh, any kind of, we have cauliflowers, uh, 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 radishes, anything vegetable. Has carrots. Its carrots, it has its own uh, vegetable dish. So there are many, many dishes. Rice is given uh, chapati, which is the like a taco. Chapati is the uh, is a is a corn. No, it's flour. It's flour. Yes. So it's a kind of a bread. Uh, it's not exactly shell. a bread. It's like a shell. Crispy. It, yeah, like taco soft taco shell. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What's the name of that? Chapati. Chapati. Yes. Chapati. Yes. Okay. And tali. Mm -hmm. So. It's a variety of vegetables and rice. Yes. So. It, the, the questions we were talking about the taste the smell and the texture mm -hmm. so can you describe the taste well to uh, us uh, is it spicy is it sweet is it sour it depends on the vegetable dish yeah. that is served okay some prefer yogurt uh, even the yogurt if there's a yogurt in there it has sometimes vegetables in there and it's sometimes they put red chili powder in there so a bit spicy yeah so it depends on what so let's, Again, let's say your preference. If you order tali, what would it taste like? Oh, what see, do you like? In India, we don't have that option of oh, can I have low spicy, medium spicy, or high spicy? They just the, it, different yeah. restaurant, different different levels. This they is, just this give is you, what you get. This is what you get. So it could be spicy. Yes. It could be. It could be mild. Earthy? Is it an earthy taste? The vegetables? It's oily. Okay, so the texture is oily. Yeah, we use a lot of oil. Is it salty? A lot of spice yes. in it? Uh, spices is the ingredient part of Indian food. You cannot have Indian food without having Indian spices in there. And what are some, what are some of the 
main Indian spices? I know turmeric. Turmeric is the most important. Is that number one? Yes. Because the orange color is good for your heart. Maybe the, the Indian flag, the orange is turmeric. <laughs> Actually, turmeric <laughs> is yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not pink. Not pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about the smell of Tali? What would, uh, does it have a distinct smell? Actually, you can, it's like a, a, a smack of, uh, you know, like a big smack on your face with a lot of flavors. You okay. can smell all the spices. See, Indian food contains a lot of spices. Not spicy, meaning yeah. hot, means spices, different flavors. So, okay, let's look at the spices again. Turmeric. Turmeric is there, but... Uh, cardamom. Cardamom, uh, coriander. Coriander. Uh, red chili. The Indian chili, really spicy. Okay. Uh, there's, oh, there's so much. Salt, cumin, pepper, cumin. 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 Yes, yeah, salt, pepper, yes. Um, and the texture is so you said it's oily the vegetables are they are they crunchy or mushy it's kind of like uh, 50 50 50 50 yeah it's kind of mushy it's kind of crunchy depends on wh what kind of uh, if you're having a mixed fruit but uh, almost everything has it's like a little bit of curry okay it's little it's got gravy almost everything except the dry vegetables. and it can be a red curry a green curry uh, yes, uh, actually, it's uh, the green curry is actually the vegetables of uh, um, it's spaghetti, crushed spaghettis and other ve green vegetables, which gives the spaghetti. color. Spaghetti, zucchini? Uh, no, no. Spaghetti is a no, pasta. No, not spaghetti. Uh, oh, I forgot that word. Zucchini? No. Uh, spinach. Oh, spinach. Yes. Okay, so the green is usually it's from spinach. It's spinach. It's okay. crushed spinach, it's like. And so tali can be. It can we can use green or a red. Right. It's everything. It's 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 a pack. You have yellow, which is a mix of uh, yogurt. The one plate. It's different color. Yeah, it's Very like colorful. different different uh, bowls with different. Okay. Different foods. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. And to wash down the tali, mm -hmm. we're thirsty. What is a traditional beverage in India? Well, uh, normally. Uh, if you're eating Indian food, people will not eat. If you properly, the o older generation, they will not eat or drink water until after 15, 20 minutes. Okay. But normally it's water. But if you water, but what, what's a traditional? Not with meal, but people enjoy it. What's a good traditional beverage people drink? In North, the most uh, common thing is lassi. Lassi. It's, yeah, it's a yogurt milk drink. Yogurt drink milk. Yeah, yogurt milk. It's like It's like made into watery type. Okay. It's uh, you can put different kind of mango or anything you want to make it a little flavorful. Mango lassi. Yes, which is the most famous. I think everybody knows about. Yeah, it. I've had that. I, I like it. Yeah, in South it's coconut water. Coconut. Yeah. I like the coconuts yeah. too. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So every part of India has its own speciality. It's too many. And so. The next question is, what is it made of, and when do people drink it? So, people use traditionally people don't drink and eat together. Right. But so a mango or a coconut lassi, when would we sit down and and enjoy that? See, usually it's any time of the day. India doesn't have that uh, fixed mentality. Oh, it's a dessert time. But I mean, is it is it at holidays? Is it uh, any time of the week, day? At at the at work. Again, anything. breakfast, no time, lunch, nothing, dinner. No. We don't have those restriction. Time. It's yeah, any hey, time is lossy time. Yeah, the most common drink is tea. Okay, the most common. Oh, okay, yeah. we drink more tea than we drink. Ceylon water. tea? No, just normal tea. What, which is Lipton tea? Lip a oh, Lipton tea? Well, yeah. that's not traditionally Indian. Well, it's the British brought the tea plants to India. So okay, okay. So majority of the the tea. British brought the tea to India. Yeah, because it's the tea plantation was uh, Lipton is a British company. Okay, and it's all in Himal in the mountains. Himalayas is it's the biggest production of uh, tea of and tea. apples and apples. Yeah. Were apples brought to India? I have no idea. You have that. no idea. Yeah. Well, it's your research. Yes. Um, unit four is weather, seasons, and landscapes. So, India is a large country, mm -hmm. and the Himalayas are in the north. So yeah. that is mountainous. Yes. Uh, what What is the landscape like? 
in, in throughout kind of if you can describe maybe north to south if it well obviously the sort of the more southern you get is more flat okay me like india has a lot of different types here it's usually flat but there's in the middle there's mountains also again middle mountain then flat desert this there's here, desert where is the desert it's right in the center is desert actually and so the Rajasthan. name of that what's the name of the desert rajasthan rajasthan yes it's a prominently uh, uh, very dry spell area. Is it large? Yes. Yeah. yeah but not as big as Gobi does, but it's pretty large for Indian standards. Okay. And as we go farther south, it gets flatter. Flatter. Yeah. And but there's still mountains there, but not as hilly as Himalayas. Okay. The north is completely hilly. I mean, mountainous. Yeah. You have the Himal. You're you're the foothills of the Himalayas. Yes. Mountains. Uh, so. It's and obviously, uh, you have the east and west coastline. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so as again as in the east and the west side is ocean sided. Mm -hmm. So you can see the entire most one three th uh, two thirds of the India is actually ocean. Okay. The Indian Ocean. Yeah. So the world. You have your own ocean named after you. Exactly. The World Fisheries Organization actually said stated that. India has the largest land mass that covers ocean, so we should be the number one producer of fish, mm -hmm. which we are not. Uh huh. And uh, how about rivers? Many rivers throughout India? Yeah. yeah. Almost. And the most famous one is Ganges. The Ganges. Yeah. Not Ganges, but Ganges? Is that, that's the American way of saying it, Ganges, Ganges, but it's Ganges. actually Ganga. Ganga. Yes. Okay. Good to know, Ganga. Yeah. And where is where is the mouth? Where does the Ganga flow? It goes all around India, but it starts in the Himalayas and comes down. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a very holy river for uh, Indians, uh, mm -hmm. Hindus. Uh, but uh, recently they found out that there's more to the water scientifically. Oh, really? There's still a lot of research going on. Minerals. They said something in there that actually helps in healing process. Well, it's mountain water. It comes from the Himalayan yeah. mountains. That's true. So that's uh, um, yeah, it's more than tradition. It's there's actual physical, scientific proof that the water is healing. Yes. Um, and so the next question, thirteen. Uh, I'm sorry, no, seventeen is seasons. So in in Korea. Or many countries have four seasons. How about India? India also has four seasons. Four seasons yes. throughout the entire A year. Yes. And uh, so you have summer, which is going on now, and it's so a, now it's uh, June first, yes. yes. and so this is summertime. Yes. Actually, we have five. If you look five. at the monsoon season. Okay. Uh, yes, we have a rainy season. And when is the rainy season? It's right uh, around July and August. We have massive rain. So next month. Yes. No, no. Next this is, next month. This is June. July and August. July, August. Yeah, because it becomes extremely, extremely hot. So the next question is, what is the weather like in a season? So I want to choose the monsoon season, yes. which is July, August. Mm -hmm. Three weeks? Three, four weeks. Three, yes. four weeks. Yes. So very hot mm -hmm. then and rain. humidity very high mm -hmm. it's rain yes. which is a hundred percent humidity mm -hmm. and you say people are cooking out yeah literally in because uh, sweating it sweating it out sweating would be easy because uh you, you sweat boiling 40 45 but right 40 now five degrees yeah delhi, celsius yes 45 degrees delhi hit 52 degrees celsius last year wow wow they're estimating it might go to 55 degrees celsius so cooking is beyond right now. You're literally frying. You're frying like an egg. Mm -hmm. So what do people do? Where do they go for uh, relief? They come to the mountains. <laughs> they go up into the mountains. Yeah. Drink so, some cold, cool mango lassies. Uh, mango lassies, anything. We, mostly we drink cold beer. So Cold beer? What, what's, a, what's a good Indian beer? Uh, Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Hayward. Hayward, yeah, Hayward, uh, five thousand. Is that H A V A R D? Yeah, okay. what it's pronounced in India, Hayward. <laughs> okay, but not Harvard. A, not Harvard. <laughs> it's Hayward. Hayward. Yeah, I don't Kingfisher. Know what, I've heard of Kingfisher. Yeah, I've it's had a, a Kingfisher. It, it's a huge. It's a big company, most like that. And okay. Tuborg is very famous in India. 
Tuborg. Tuborg. Okay, I know that one too. I didn't know it was Indian. Uh, I don't know. It's not Indian. Uh, Indian brands are very limited. Oh, okay, but but Kingfisher is an Indian. Pure beer. Indian, yes. Okay. And uh, the next question, nineteen, is natural disasters. Well, we were a couple of like, almost five, seven years ago hit by a huge tsunami. A tsunami in India, yeah. east coast. Oh, south. The south. It yes. came up where you were actually in, uh, in the south. And there, there, there was a huge tsunami. Yeah, I actually I did travel to India. Um, wow, four years ago now, the southern part. Right. So the tsunami came yeah, from, from an earthquake. There was an earthquake in, in, this, in the ocean? In the ocean. Uh, see, th most of the Asia is pretty tied up. So even the, uh, 10 years ago, the big Indonesian Asian tsunami, we were hit, but not that big. But we had somewhere down here and took a lot of damage. Okay. So earthquakes, this. Is you do have earthquakes throughout the con the the country. Yes, because it is a subcontinent. It's not a full continent. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you're you're so ordered. The plates are shifting all the time. Here's India and here's Nepal or the Himalayan Himalaya. Asian. So India is going under. No, uh, Himalayas is the creation of two crusts meeting. Uh, oh, they're both just kind of meeting that's what and Himalayas, yes. So the actual Asian continent is what Himalayas. Is that are. what Namaste means? Oh God, I don't think so. <laughs> but that's a good uh, point to be taken. You can bring that home with you. Uh, tell you tell people this is what was... Namaste means: the Indian and the <laughs> two Asian <laughs> continents coming together. Hey, if anything is possible. Yeah, I like it. I just thought of that. No, that was a pretty good You're idea. You're welcome. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> start a new trend in <laughs> India? Uh, okay, so let's earthquakes, tsunamis, monsoon is flooding. Yes, literally floods a lot of cities. And lightning oh. storms. Everything natural it ha happens in the world. It does happen. Drought. Everything. Um, tornadoes. Ooh, I've heard of it happening, but not that much. Hurricanes, yes. Tornadoes, no. My that. my homeland here. This is Tornado Alley. Right. So yeah. I, I know tornadoes. Yes. But India, I, I'm not sure if we have. I know hurricanes are normal in because India. the tornadoes. It's the cold air and the warm air meeting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of over flat land, and it it creates the condition. I don't think so. We have that many okay. because India is usually hot because we're right on the equator line, yes. so it's very hot. Um, what other natural disasters? Drought is practically drought. Yeah. Is that that would Which be leads? in the um, autumn? Uh, drought is before in the, the rainy season. Yeah, in summer, you have to understand from or winter March, time, I guess. March and April, the heat season has already started. And when is the cool seat? When is the best time to go to India? It, apparently, winter season is like 10 degrees. And Celsius. so that's December, January. Yeah, December, January. Some because of the unfortunate high pollution, um, the winter is not that as strong. But if you come to our non more on the north part where the mountains are, there are areas where six months uh, there's no uh, communication with them because it's land uh, snow locked. Okay. Um, moving forward, the next question. Question 20, we're already halfway through. Go ahead. Uh, holidays, can you tell us what is an important holiday in India for most, the majority of people? Well, I did as a student and everybody knows when you're a student, you wish for holidays. India has so many religions, so we have holidays throughout the year. But what would be like the Christmas most, in America is prominent and, and Thanksgiving, is, those two are number one, number two. Yes. The, the most prominent is Diwali. Is Diwali. A, the festival of lights, where there are firecrackers all over India. People are just celebrating with firecrackers. Sweets are being distributed. Okay. And so when is this? This is around October. October. So yeah. is that harvest? It's, uh, no, a uh, harvest is in uh, February, March. Okay. That's where actually our new year starts. The new year starts in January something. January. It, yeah. And that's where the harvest And begins. Diwali celebrates what traditionally? What, it's a festival of lights when uh, Lord Ram in Ramayana, the epic no novel Ramayana where Lord Ram came back 
to his after being banished he comes back to his home so there's festival lights so everybody on that day has lights everywhere firecrackers they hang the, like lanterns or Lantern, electric everything. lights anything that that is bright yeah we have a uh, little uh, dias we call it it's like little uh, fire like little lamps uh, traditional lamps those are everybody's using the modern facilities of lights but those are still there they put some oil and then some cotton and it burns okay and so that's um, October October is it a specific day uh, it's it keeps changing, okay. so, but it's like 20th is normally the day. M mid to it, late October. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to look at Unit 5, which is ports, transportation, and accommodation. And question 21, the main international airport. Some countries have one main international airport. Uh, India is large, yeah. a large country, so what would you say are the top is the top top international or the top two international airports that we would fly into and fly out of uh the top two are, are the first one is indra uh indra gandhi international airport indra gandhi international airport and where is that it's in delhi in del new delhi new delhi delhi new delhi same it's like uh just a little zip code difference but it's delhi new delhi so we just consider new delhi okay yeah, uh, secondary is in Mumbai. Mumbai, it's, and yeah. where is Mumbai? Mumbai is in the south right here. You can see this. Okay. It's uh, called Shivaji International Airport. Shivaji? Yeah. He was one of the, uh, uh, the warriors, kings who fought against the British and okay. the Muslim communities. The conquerors. He, he, f he was Muslim or he no, fought, no, he fought, he fought against, against the Muslim? Yeah, yeah. And the British. Okay. And the Brits. It was British. Yeah. Um, and now we're in India, Mumbai or Delhi, New Delhi. And so what types of transportation can we uh, use when we travel throughout your country? India has the largest, uh, which I had heard a couple of uh, a long time ago, was that we had the largest train network okay in the world trains are everywhere number one yes to, to, to transport Anything. all of these people yes but now the we have also the in vast increase in uh, cheap airlines airlines flying yeah, yeah. so domestic yeah. airlines domestic airlines but we have a uh, vast variety of buses sleeper buses okay so it becomes a bed inside mm -hmm. it's a it's a bus though so a lot of those, I mean, they, uh, India has uh, a lot of uh, tours and travel agencies. So they have their own vehicles. They give you a driver. You can sleep in the back of the car. And like a have, Land Rover? Yeah, something like that. Well, well Tata. What? The, we have... Uh, Tata? Tata. The what one that, that owns a uh, Jaguar and... Uh, Tata that. is a rental place? No, Tata is a car manufacturer. So is it a is it a company a type of car or the the, it's the brand? A, it's a brand. Tata. Yeah. That's Indian. Yes. Um, and I know because I have traveled to India and I've taken buses. No, tra I never took a train, but the buses were always very full. <laughs> yes. People would be jumping on, jumping off, hanging on. Yes, uh, now there's two <laughs> two versions. Okay. One is the government version. The one you... Gorman? The, the, no, the government. Go, go, okay, the government. The version, the, I think that's the one you took. Yeah, now, the local. Yeah, but uh, we also have private. Okay. Which is more luxurious and more expensive. That, that gives you your own seat and not... Exactly. Like, yeah, I, I, I get on and then, well, wow, this is comfortable. And then suddenly... It's full. It's like... Yeah, I can't. There's the. <laughs> it's an experience. It's an experience. It's an experience. Go to India and have an experience. Oh, overcrowded people. Yes. Um. How about off the beaten path? We're getting into villages, off the main roads. Budget, shoestring traveling. What what kind of transportation can we? They have tractor uh, tractors. People just hop on a tractor and just travel. Okay. They have local buses that are going inside the villages. They have cow, cart, bull-driven carts. 
it's there's so many different versions it's anything like, with wheels anything is possible <laughs> you can, it's it's impossible not to say oh i can go there okay um any any like indian word like in the philippines it's a tuk tuk or well like a three-wheel auto rickshaw a ri auto rickshaw yes and you find those in the cities or just throughout uh, everywhere everywhere They're everywhere okay. even in the mountains they have it all right and uh we're tired we need a place to sleep mm -hmm. what would you recommend as a nice hotel or a good place to, to lay your head for the night it doesn't have to be a five star it can be anything but what we what? have a lot of budget hotels and motels it's there's okay. an area Bahard Ganj in Delhi that's prominently cheap cheap hotels which mm -hmm. were like 10 bucks okay and, uh, then and is there a name for that type of is uh, it just hotel I just go to Bahard Ganj you'll find something cheap so a cheap hotel what what amenities can we find at this cheap hotel you get a toilet a, to <laughs> at, in a private toilet yes private in, toilet. in your room yes a bed yes TV Maybe, maybe not. Fan. Yes, you'll find a, a ceiling fan. Like a ceiling fan. fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very common. Uh, mini fridge. No. 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 Th Just these are cheap, basic. really budget, 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 budget. Okay. See, in India, you can get the cheapest, cheapest for ten bucks, five bucks, to all the way to thousands of dollars. Yeah, hotels. five star. Yes. You know, Delhi, you can find anything. Sure. But, you know, I have no problem uh, paying five, ten dollars to sleep. I'm not there to sleep, I'm there to explore. Mm -hmm. So, um, cheap hotels, very few amenities, no problem. Mm -hmm. Saving money. And so the next question is about money and the currency of India is... Rupees. The rupee. And so what is the exchange rate? This is uh, June 2023. Mm. What's the exchange rate now? It's around 84 rupees for a dollar. 84 rupee for the dollar. Mm -hmm. And is there any, like, on the, you still use paper? Yes. Primarily the paper uh, and coin? We have paper and coin, but like in places like Delhi, Mumbai, it's going more digital it's, yes I'm going digital everybody has Google pay Google pay yeah but uh, but the, the coins and uh, the paper currency is there any sp special image that uh, like in American money it's the the presidents yes, we have Mahatma Gandhi Gandhi is on almost everything almost everything yeah, yes okay and uh, we're on to unit six, and this is my favorite unit. It's about greetings, gestures, and customs. What is a greeting that's used in India? When um, I meet someone, what do I say? It's usually namaste, it's, and you fold your hand. Himalayan, Himalayas. Himalayas, yes, Himalayas. the Himalayas. <laughs> so just go here and just a little bit bend a bend Small a nod, yeah. nod of the head, yeah. namaste, and no. what does namaste mean? It's a greeting, so saying hello. Does it mean peace or something in English, or is it just... Uh, I never really thought about that. It's something in Sanskrit. Namaste. 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 Okay. Yeah. And um, how about gestures? Hand gesture, body gesture. So a small nod for a greeting. Yes. Uh, Indians are... If you ever see the American comedy or British comedy, they'll tell you that Indians usually use their hands a lot. Okay. So we are very handsy people. Okay. You'll always see we we can't help it. It's just built in our. It's, it's part of your DNA. It's part of our DNA. So well, whatever. body language is the number one world language. So you're just better at it. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> we have 122 languages in India. Major languages. 122. And, yes, and over 1,500 local dialects over 1500 local dialects. Okay. That's a lot of language, but <coughs> a North guy can go to South and just go, hey, I'm doing this, and they'll okay. be like, oh, yeah, so, yeah. so that's why body <laughs> language is so important, yeah. because there is such diversity in, in the country. All right. Um, pointing? 
Well, I usually point, but the apparently. So now the next question we can combine these gestures. What gestures are impolite? Uh, well. So what what gesture hand gesture is polite? What's impolite? Pointing like one finger is okay. Well, it's it's fine actually. Pointing at someone. Well, yeah, hey, how are you? Okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, mostly, it's when you meet. Uh, it's it's same like in Korea when you meet elders, you have to go and touch their feet because feet. You touch is, their feet with your hands. Yes, because so bow down. Bow down and touch their feet. Do you get on your knees? Well, that's like really, really, really traditional, but nobody does that. We just bend over and touch the feet. Okay. Because they said the feet is the dirtiest part of a human body, and oh. you're touching that, you show them respect. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And. Give me a some something impolite, something not to do. Do not do this in India. Uh, gestures, gestures. A lot of people do like their fists, their hand, like uh, it's a, like this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, you know, it means some sexual orientation. Sexual orientation. Yeah. And when would you? use that friends use it all the time. friends use it all the time but if you do it to a stranger it's uh, considered rude it's rude and uh, possibly like you know like fighting time well it, in or India, just rude it is rude and then so the the bird the middle finger yes it's, is that rude in india it's well, the same universal it's universal universal westernization has brought that bird in india yeah, thank you, America yeah. or England. Oh, well, let's now this this one and, and that one in England. How about this? Because England is uh, this. Does what does this mean in India? Uh, it mean it. There's no meaning for this, but due to interna uh, interna internationalization, uh -huh. we have found out this means f f u f u because but in England. Now that's that's peace and victory in in India. Yeah, uh, globally. Well, in Australia, in Korea, you do this. You do this. Kimchi, take my picture. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Kimchi. Oh, okay. Take my picture. But this way, it's the that means this, way. which is the the middle finger. Mm. Um, now, one gesture, body gesture that I have seen, is this. <laughs> Yes, bobble head. So it's the bobble head, not forward and backward, but right mm -hmm. and left. Like this. Yeah. Like this. What the professional. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean? I have no idea. You don't know. I didn't even know I did that until my American really? American teacher actually told me I did it. He's like, all Indians do this. I'm like, really? Yes means. No means. I did not know until he told me, and I'm like, oh my god, because this means everything. Oh, do you understand? <laughs> you all, yeah, yeah, then, I, yes or no? I don't <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's, for an Indian, he like, ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, this yeah, is he, this is I understand, and yeah. this is I don't, and then shrugging is I don't know. Yeah, but in India, bobbling head set left <laughs> to right is basically everything. Happy, <laughs> everything. I mean, uh, per, the context is like, are you okay? Mm. Yeah, so so maybe yeah. is it so so? No, it's okay. It's, we mm. didn't say. Are you hungry? Mm. It's like we don't even know <laughs> yeah. we're doing it. <laughs> so I'm okay, so well I asked I asked a local and I still don't know what it means. Nobody knows. Nobody what it knows. Means. It has no meaning. But but it's everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> and we don't even know we are doing it until we point out. You just did it. That's really? interesting. It? Okay. Uh, customs and now the next question which is um, question 30 that's religion mm -hmm. so can you tell us uh, what religions what are some religions practiced in India India is as I stated earlier India is the only country in the world that has every religion every religion practiced in India we have Hindus we have Muslims. now the top let's see the top three Top one majority Hindu. is Hindu. Mm -hmm. Muslim. Muslim is number two. Yes. And then Sikhs. The Sikh. 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 Yeah, the turban. People that wear the turban okay. and bearded. Mm -hmm. The Sikhs are from where? Punjab. Punjab? Yes. Okay. 
All right, the Sikhs. Yes. So Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Sikhs, and then everything else. We have Isais, which is Christians. We have uh, Farsis, which are the original Farsis. Jews. Okay. So we'll, we'll move forward into Unit 7, and this is uh, landmarks, activities, and things to do. So where are some good places to go sightseeing in India? Uh, if you like palaces, mm -hmm. uh, Rajasthan is the land of Rajputs. And where is Rajasthan? It's right in the center where the desert is. This okay. Is right here. Okay. And uh, here you'll find a lot of palaces and uh, a lot of foreigners go there for tourism. Then, and secondary, if you like, India has uh, a very a lot of tolerance for marijuana. Marijuana. Yes. Yeah, so if most love foreigners and Indians, we love to go to Goa. Goa. Yes. Okay, and Goa uh, is where? That's in the south. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. And uh, on the coast? Yeah. So there are a lot of Russians there, there are a lot of foreigners. You will not, you will see an American fully like filthy, just sitting there and just relax. He's out of his mind. Yeah. So that's one place. So Goa and Rajasthan. Yeah, it's a, see India has such a big vast variety. Yes, I know, but so but you. Just, like it's like just an want, idea traditional is here modern is here this is right here, so. yeah it's it's a very diverse changing place yeah, if you like history rajasthan history is everywhere but rajasthan. if you like palaces rajasthan okay so then the next question is famous landmarks such as palaces um rivers well ganges river the ganges is, and where is the best place to go see the Ganges like well uh, Haridwar it is Haridwar a, yes it's our holy city and uh, where is that uh, it's right underneath here somewhere here near Delhi yeah it's south of Delhi. south of Delhi okay. yes it's uh, and a lot of people earlier when they died it's and they're burnt they were cremated put, cremated and they were put uh, in the water okay mixed, and some people and that's still that uh, still happens yes it's it's a basic major part of our culture throughout all india or or just they they're brought to this place Specific, if you're a hindu they specifically come down to that hindu. area are you hindu yes I am. okay um so the got ganga 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 ganges 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 <laughs> uh give me one or two more landmarks uh the Taj Mahal. Ta well, well, Taj that, Mahal is there. Yeah. Oh, is that in? That's the same area. Yeah, it's right below Agra. It's right here. Agra. Yeah. Taj Mahal is in Agra. Agra. It's south, like maybe two-hour drive. And that was built by the Shah Jahan, the Mughal emperor, for his wife. Uh, for his, for wife. his uh, passed away wife. For okay. his love. And have you have you been there? Yes, yeah. I have been there. And it's uh, magnificent. It's, Yes, it is. As they it's, say, it's. it's, it's I, a I landmark. It, it's a landmark. Okay. I mean, I, I wasn't excited like everybody else. Oh my God, we went to Taj Mahal. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, okay, Taj Mahal. Yeah, you just you, you, you have to understand. It's like something like oh, for American. Oh, I went to Seven Eleven. Just went for food. <laughs> yeah, I went to Taj Mahal. You know, it's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, sure. Okay, one more. Okay. Something off, maybe unique. No. India landmark. Okay, well, uh, Himalayas, uh, Himachal Pradesh is the land of temples. Himachal Pradesh. Pradesh, the where I'm from. Okay, that's your hometown. Hometown. Himachal Pradesh. Yes, that's Pradesh. Uh, where a lot of uh, gods are said to be stated. Okay. Himalaya mountains, that's where they say that our Lord Shiva, uh, Shiva. Is, is there. Okay. His mountain is there, Mount Par Kailash Parvat. Kailash Parvat. Kailash Parvat. Parvat. Parvat means mountains. Kailash Parvat. Yes. Parvat is mountain. Mountain. And Kailash is the name. Is the land, is the mountain of our Lord Shiva. And that's Shiva. Yeah. The destroyer. Yes. And creator? No, creator is Vishnu. Vishnu is the creator and uh, uh, Shiva, Shiva is, the is the destroyer. And Brahma is the one who rotates and circulates everything. Okay. And one of my favorites is. Uh, Ganesha, Ganesh, which the is the son of Lord Shiva. Okay, he's the son. Yes. Um, activities in India. What do Indian people enjoy doing? What cricket. 
Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the national, <laughs> national past pastime. pastime. You, anyone, anywhere. Hey, you free? Yeah. You want to play cricket? Okay. Sure. It's like if you go to Australia. Hey, you want to have a beer? Sure. <laughs> In India, you want to play cricket? Sure. Okay, so young children. Old people, doesn't matter. Okay. Cricket is like the most entertainment play thing available. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand cricket, but to, you know, different country, different stroke for different folk. We don't understand baseball. Okay, so... How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> um, ball, bat, that's cricket. Yeah, exactly. Baseball, ball, bat. It's a <laughs> ball and a bat. Pretty basic sport. Uh, give me one more activity. Something that, if I don't like cricket... Drinking. Drinking alcohol? Yes. Drinking is an activity. So Extremely. Indians enjoy a drink. Drink. The, it's, as soon as it's evening, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, nothing. Well, it's Let's, hot, so we want a cold beer. Yeah, with tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. Okay, a lot of chicken. There meat. you go. Tandoori. That's a, that's a, that's a, is that a traditional food? Is it's, it not, it's, it's not a traditional food, but it's become like a traditional for drinkers. Okay. All right. Yeah. Chicken and beer. Yeah. There we that's go. That's a good combo. Yep. Um, and what is an activity that you enjoy? Drinking and playing cricket? Well, of course, I'm an Indian. <laughs> I cannot deny that. Okay. That's uh, why you're here, because you're what, Indian. Yes. Uh, I like to go to mountains and... Okay. Hiking, camping? Oh, no. Just... Uh, see, oh. uh, hiking, camping is when foreigners come and uh, outsiders come. For me, it's walking in my home backyard. Okay. So, just walking and we... In, if it's raining, then you hear the, the peacocks come out. The peacocks? Yes. Yeah, it's a national bird of India. Oh, the national bird is the peacock. Peacock. Okay. So, and they're... Everywhere. All, they're in mountains, everywhere. In mountains. In the mountains. Yes. So taking a stroll in nature mm -hmm. yes and that's something I enjoy in your hometown mm -hmm. plenty of nice paths and and uh, riding taking a motorcycle and motorcycle yeah okay that's that I, I enjoy that exactly it's a beautiful cool. thing people watching now this question I, I enjoy people watching it's free people are interesting tall short fat thin all colors and sizes um so when traveling it's it's cheap entertainment and so mm. in a country of 1.4 billion people where is a good place to go people watching in india everywhere <laughs> yes it's true it's everywhere we're everywhere <laughs> unfortunately you cannot not people <laughs> you, we can't you can't ignore what is like you just sit in one place you'll see half of india passing through you <laughs> so like didn't i see you no no it's just passing through it's this is how people are you just sit down a lot of time if you ever go to a place in delhi called cp it's a cannot place cp is what cannot place cannot place mm -hmm. it was built by britishers so the it's British? like a circle so people just sit in the middle and like a square no it's a circle it's a square but it's like a, it's like a city square yeah like it's like a city square a park a place that people yeah, yeah. Uh, go to to relax and right. people watch yes well, well not watch it they have no choice everybody's there for it, shopping or it's every, cafes it's shopping cafes is they, it big uh and yeah, yeah, it's C pretty big cp cp yeah like regular c p uh okay final unit is unit eight and that's music pop culture and famous people mm -hmm. and i presume indians like music yes so what are some kinds of music that are popular in india uh, traditional or or current well, it depends on the taste, but sure. nowadays mostly indie pop. Indie pop, okay. Yeah. And pop, Bhang popular. And, yeah, and the most famous is actually Bhangra. Bhangra? Bhangra. It's like uh, you've seen in a lot of American movies, people going like, eh, this is Bhangra actually. Like, you the, know, like the, the, the Bollywood yeah, movies? It's, it's Bollywood has a lot of uh, Bhangra in it, but it's usually like in the say, like you, anybody can dance a Bhangra. Just need to go reach your top and like you're turning a bulb and like petting a dog 
Oh, there, there you go. go. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's like patting your stomach and rubbing your head or something. Right, so it's basically this. You know, that's what it is. Like this? Yeah. You're twisting a bulb, twisting a bulb and, and petting a dog. Okay. Uh, there we go. Bhangra. Bhangra. It's a... Uh, it's a that's a music, not a dance. It's, that's a dance. It's a music and dance. And dance. Yeah, so Punjabi music, dance. And uh, musical instruments, are there any in traditional Indian... We have our own... The sitar. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Indian, yeah? It's like a big uh, violin, if you want to say it. Yeah, but it's very hard. It's a metal string, so you need like metal finger thingies. Ravi Shankar yes, he is, is Indian, and he, he taught uh, George Harrison of the Beatles to play. Yeah, but I'm a tabla guy. A what guy? Tabla. It's a two tabla? small round drums. And okay. my favorite is uh, all the... Two, one, two? Yeah. Like bongos? Like bongos, but really small. You have to sit down and it's a round thing. And you play those? Yes. And uh, my favorite is Zakir Hussain. Um, famous people. Tell me, tell us uh, at least two. It can be an actor, actress. Um, Everybody knows Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is like Mr. India. <laughs> apparently. But uh, if you look, mostly whenever I go to Asian countries who have seen Indian movies, even in Korea, they've seen this Indian movie called Three Idiots, uh, which is Amir Khan. And that's a Bollywood movie? A Bollywood. Three Idiots? Yeah, it's very famous in Korea. And now Triple R. It's a dance move, which won the Oscars in dancing. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll research it. So, yeah. who, who's the famous person? Uh, Amir Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, Amitabh That's Bachchan. their name? Yeah. Amir Khan? Amir Khan. Amir, oh, okay. Amir Khan, K-H-A-N? Yes, Khan. Amir Khan is an actor? Yes, Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, They're the top actors, actors these days? Yes. Um... How about uh, a, f an, a, f a female, famous, famous woman from India who would be at the top? Well, we have the president now. Uh, I'm going to ask you that next question. <laughs> one more, f one more, writer, artist, um, um, uh, novelist, sculptor. I like uh, uh, Amitabh Ghosh. Amitav Ghosh. He's a uh, he's a good writer. He's a uh, oh, first book Shadow Lines. Shadow Lines. Okay, I've heard of Shadow Lines. Yeah, that's Amitav Ghosh. It's a very good book. It's a very good read if you like basic, simple novel. That's a very that's a good fiction. Uh, no, it's just simple, normal. A novel. Yeah. But what is it's it? It's about normal. Non it's it's about the life of a. So it's person. non-fiction. Non-fictional. It's a non-fiction Shadow Lines. I've heard of that book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it even went for the like something like Oscars in the books. Uh, it's been made into a movie. Uh, no, it like uh, it's it, like a Pulitzer. It, it, or yeah, something? it went for that award, didn't win it, but it was nominated. Okay, all right. And so, the next question is the president, and you have a female president now, yes. and her name is uh, Draupadi Murmur. Murmur. Yes, and. When was she elected? She was elected? Yes, uh, a couple of months ago. A couple months ago. Yeah. And in India, the president is elected by the populace? No. The people? Uh, uh, no, she's elected. Uh, see, uh, we have the same British standard, so prime minister is more important than the president. Okay. So it's elected by the commission. She's elected by the commission. And how long does she serve? What's her term? I believe it's, I am not sure accurately, so I think it's around four or five years. Four or five years, yeah. and do you have a prime minister? Yes. And who is the prime minister? Uh, Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi. Modi. Yeah, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he's basically everywhere, he, you know. He, so he has, he, he has the power, he has, he has the, the main power? Yeah, but the army is still controlled by the president. You need a president. The army or, is controlled by the president. Yes. Okay. They need her to sign off. I see. The Indian army, is it large? Uh, it's the third uh, largest in the world. Third largest in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, subcultures. So we have culture and then below that mainstream is 
subculture, and I presume India has many. Many. So what would be an interesting subculture to tell us about? The most uh, common subculture in all over India is a girl having long hair, which even foreigners are like, why she has long hair? It's actually like part how of, long? It's almost to the knees if you see like girl, very long hair, very long. And what, what does that mean? Anything? Is there it's, a it's, reason? There's. I don't think there's a reason. It's just like it's the it's a mark of a beauty. In India, long it's hair. Considered, long hair is considered very beautiful, attractive in a woman. Okay, and um, yeah, I, I like long. Yeah, the long black hair is no. is very pretty. Mm -hmm. Is there an age that that it's usually cut? Like older women also have long hair, uh, or they can't do it because ha it's it becomes like too much headache. Yeah, it's a problem. Problem, but uh, so what age of a woman would? I think less than 30, 30 so thirty five from y being very young to letting your hair grow all the to, way up. to your into your thirties and yeah. you cut it. Yeah, and but uh, that is one of the most attractive, even to me and a lot of Indians and a lot of friends I know. So just bring a girl Very with long, long hair. hair is just like oh nice. okay all right anything else subculture um motorcycle gangs tattoos how about tattoos are they popular in yeah. India? <laughs> i have a lot of oh, tattoos. Well, you do have, you do have <laughs> tattoos wow. I, I, <laughs> I have a lot of tattoos how many tattoos do you have i have around five so that's not taboo no, no in no, india no, no, tattoos no. are okay tattoos okay there's no such thing as taboo unless it's like family family but there's no it's nothing like that you can enjoy your life it's like as long as you're happy okay live and let live live and let live don't it's do a good something philosophy stupid. don't harm others yeah but eventually everybody does but yeah, yeah. But, but i live my life as it is uh, okay yeah. as as we all should yeah lay last question uh is is the flower do you have uh your national flower as a tattoo on your body no i don't have that do you know what the national flower is a lotus the lotus flower yes the pink lotus the pink lotus uh it's one of my favorite flowers we have actually in delhi a really big lotus temple okay it, the whole temple is in egg in like a couple of acres land and the lotus is that associated with buddha and buddhism or is it's, it just that it's it's widely grown yeah. in india it's hinduism uh, hinduism it's, yeah it's it, see buddhism comes from hinduism okay so the, you know all of them are branches like catholics or the main then protestants lutherans baptists it's same thing like that yeah, hinduism is like the oldest and the buddhism came but all, everybody's uh, main history or foundation is the same. Okay, I see. Um, Nishant, yes. how do you say thank you in uh, Hindi? Danyawad. Danyawad? Yes. Danyawad. How do you say happy birthday in, in, in Hindi? Janamdin Mubarak Ho. Janamdin? Janam. Janam. Din. Din. Mu. Mu. Barak Ho. Happy birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow, but he was uh, nice enough to come and spend time with us. And he is going to India tomorrow. Yes, sir. Going on the airplane. Air Asiana. Air Asiana to Dark Mahatma Port. Gandhi Airport. No, uh, Indra Gandhi International. Indra Gandhi. In Delhi. Okay. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you very much. And. Um, it's been a long time since I've done one of these, so I hope you enjoyed it. We have a new studio, more simple, more streamlined, and uh, I hope to do more of these in the future. And until next time, my name is Stephen Walker, and this is Tell Me About It, 40 Questions. Say goodbye in Hindi. Namaste. Namaste, hello and... Yes, yeah, so it's basically uh, namaste for hello and namaste for... Bye -bye. Okay, Himalayan, Himalayas. <laughs> Himalayas. Remember it, Himalayas. Namaste. Namaste.